What is going on YouTube? Back with another video guys. Hopefully everybody's having an amazing day or night. Hopefully everybody's excited for season five as well. But today I'm gonna to be showcasing you the top five best setups for multiplayer and the top five best setups for Warzone. Obviously you guys may have different preferences like of what weapons you uh, run. You, whatever fits better for you, use that man. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of insight of what I think, uh, what I've seen, uh, not just me personally, but what I've seen in the community, what I've seen from other YouTubers, uh, just the, kind of the metas of the game. Um, so yeah, man, let's jump right into these multiplayer ones. So we'll jump right into the uh, Warzone ones as you guys, as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen. So for the FAL for multiplayer, we're gonna run the FAL, whatever secondary you want. It's up to you guys. But I always usually run double time ghost and amp. Um, if I'm playing shipment or some small map, I might throw in hardline just because ghost isn't really necessary. Um, but always run ghost usually um, most of the time. So uh, anyway, let's jump in. We're on the 13.0 OSW para barrel. It's just a uh, better AD speed then we're gonna go no stock better ads speed sleight of hand 30 round max and commando foregrip to counter that uh recoil uh with the ads attachment so that's the setup for the uh, fal and obviously you can run monolithic you can run whatever you want with this weapon you guys know how powerful it is but uh obviously in multiplayer a lot more action going on than warzone uh so yeah man you guys you guys get the point 30 round max and sleight of hand to take out more enemies and it's the potential to one shot so uh, that's the FAL, and like I said, you can run whatever you want for your secondaries. For the M4, we are going with the monolithic suppressor, the no stock attachment for the stock, sleight of hand, 60 round max, and commando foregrip. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably run this setup already. Um, if you want it, you could take off no stock, add a barrel. Like obviously, the barrels, the uh, stock, the stock M16 Grenadier, and the Corvus Custom Marksman barrels, they're very, very good uh, for multiplayer as well. But mainly war zone just because um the engagements in multiplayer are a lot closer range so in warzone very uh i recommend you really run uh stock m16 grenadier because of the pros it gives you or the corvus custom uh barrel so that is for uh that is for multiplayer that setup right there then always usually the same perks and uh same lethal and tactical so that's the m4 so the growl the growl is still a very very good gun guys um this is set up right here you could run for um uh, for Warzone as well, but this one's uh, you could also run for multiplayer. So, Monolithic Suppressor, the Tempest Archangel Barrel, everybody runs that. Um, Commando Foregrip, 60 round max, and Sleight of Hand. So, this absolutely shreds. You could take off the stock and run no stock, then add something else if you want, or take away something else. The Growl is still a very, very good weapon, but the nerf sc scared a lot of people with the nerf, but it's still very, very, very good. So, that's what I really recommend uh, for multiplayer. And uh, the, my baby for the MP5, uh, Monolithic integral suppressor ftac hospital stock sleight of hand 45 round max and merc foregrip uh this has not changed from season one this is the best setup for the mp5 in my opinion i know a lot of people run a monolithic suppressor instead of the integral but um this is what i run for the mp5 guys it works out really well for me it's my my most favorite gun as in i get have the most kills with it and best accuracy and all that so uh same attachment same perks uh same secondary same perks excuse me and this one man uh, this one could have been I think this one's a sleeper. I know a lot of people use it. A lot of people say it's garbage I see a lot of garbage Elite, uh, I don't see it in between with this weapon. Some people hate it. Some people love it uh, I love it personally for both uh, multiplayer and warzone uh, for multiplayer you can mo monolithic uh, Commando 60 round max simple grip tape and sleight of hand um, if you want to have a no stock attachment on there, you could take off simple grip tape, whatever you guys want for this, but I recommend this setup in multiplayer. Uh, that is the kilo. Same perks, same secondary, same lethal instead. Uh, all right, let's jump into Warzone. So Warzone, I know I don't use this Bruin, okay? I will be honest. I don't even have the Bruin unlocked, and I will show you. See, I don't even have it unlocked. I just have the variants for the Bruin. But I, I'm so I'm not gonna give you the best class up just because I don't have the attachments for it to show you. So anyway, man, we are running this Bruin, and I know a lot of people are running 60 round mags, the VLK optic sight. Um, I don't even know what other attachments it has to be honest. So, uh, but this Bruin as your primary or secondary, whatever you want to run with it, and the MP5 combo is absolutely nuts. Um, 
you want to run 40 i run 45 round magic with that but you can run whatever for the mp5 basically the same setup i has for multiplayer but this bruin and this mp5 setup are absolutely godly guys that's what you see fal bruin mp5 um kilo and so i see the growl but that's mainly about it to be honest so anyway for this on in um uh, warzone i run double time overkill and amped and obviously if you want you have a ghost class which most people do i'll pick up ghost and i'll show you my ghost class just in case so um but yeah this setup right here the bruin and the mp5 combo absolutely shreds um recommend you try that uh the next one the growl um guys the growl is still very good uh, it is uh, for the um, war zone. I run monolithic, tempest archangel, commando foregrip, 60 round mags, and F tac uh, rubber rear grip to control recoil even more. And you guys can see the accuracy literally it's all the way up almost. Uh, and the range is really really good, guys. This so this weapon's so very very good. Um, so I recommend running that setup. I know a lot of people have moved from the growl to other stuff, and I know there's more metas in the game right now. So that's just a setup if you guys want to try it again. So there you go. There's there's for the growl. So and we have RPG double time ghost and amps. That's a ghost class. So if I wanted to grab something, if I wanted to run MP5 and growl, boom, I could do that. So there's that. Next one. Uh, I've been I've seen this setup. I haven't used it personally, but I have seen this setup used by a lot of streamers, Twitch streamers, uh, some other YouTubers as well, and they say this is absolutely godly. So um, we're gonna take a look at it. We're on the MP7, um, and I'm gonna leave the attachments for you guys. I would prefer uh, if I was doing this, I would make this faster ADS, uh, pretty fast ADS for the MP7 because I have a slower weapon as my secondary, and that is the car. People are like, why the car? The car is actually very very good in warzone guys um it is one shot kill to the head so essentially all snipers uh beside obviously all the main snipers are one shot to the head uh usually um i don't know if any other marksman rifles are except for the car 98 and the rate of fire is really good with the car 98 as well so um essentially it does the same damage really i mean it doesn't do the same damage but it's a two shot if you hit him in the head, it's a one shot. So it's a very good setup and it's a very good mobile class. Uh, mobility is great with this class and you can get around the map quick. Shots are quick. It's very accurate with the MP7. So double time overkill and amp for that. Um, C4 and stem. Oh, not C4, sorry. You can heartbeat or you can run um, stun grenade for uh, Warzone. And that's the same thing with um, all the other. It always runs heartbeat or stun grenade for a Warzone, in my opinion. I just didn't change the lethal. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, my, my favorite one right here. Um, my favorite one, guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, I already got it on there. Okay. As you can see, I've already been using this. I already had my stuff on there. So we're running the Acid Spit FAL, and we're running the Striking Tiger Kilo. People are like, why are you running two uh, assault rifles? Well, you guys know this growl. This thing outguns SMGs up close, and what I did with this is increase the ADS speed um, to make it maxed out basically so i have uh, the para barrel on faster ads i have tack laser on faster ads no stock faster ads simple grip tape and 30 round mag so this ads speed is absolutely insane and the, it, it doesn't the recoil is pretty it's pretty bad not gonna lie but all my gunfights are gonna be up close with this so it really doesn't matter and i'll tell you why i have it for that i mean you can use this as a long range weapon as well but up close it's outgunning smgs it's a two shot kill sometimes so try the setup out it, it's very mobile uh, as you can see in the bottom left the damage hasn't moved at all they actually dropped the range drop and control dropped but like i said you're treating this as an smg and if you compare that damage range all down the line to other smgs oh man scary uh and then we run the uh the kilo uh that's one of my favorite setups this is my favorite setup for the kilo i run a monolithic suppressor the uh, singard arms 19.8 prowler pro or yeah prowler barrel a vlk 3.0 optic 60 round max and commando foregrip i think this is better than the growl personally uh probably not uh before the nerf but i think look at the damage and look at the or look at the accuracy look at the range guys um <laughs> insane uh so try this out just basically like the growl before the growl got nerfed so try this setup out um very good 
Um, then if you want, towards the end of the match, if you need a sniper, and I'll show you my sniper class, which we're about to get into right now. Uh, running the CDL Champs 2020 HDR. I'm running monolithic 26.9 HDR Pro Barrel, variable zoom scope, sleight of hand, and nine round max. Uh, I love sniping on Warzone, I do, uh, but I also like a class where I can rush because I feel like if I'm gonna do one or the other, I'm either rushing or I'm picking off people from long range. So usually no in between. Um, so we're running double time ghost and amplifat c4 and heartbeat sensor uh, So if I say I need a sniper, I can tell the circle I'm gonna need something long range So I'll if I get a loadout boom, I'll probably take the uh, FAL then I'll run a sniper class as well um, Then just depends on what the situation is you guys know a lot I don't play warzone as much as a lot of you But from my experiences, I know that I, I left the m4 out the m4 could fit in here somewhere too uh, It could go with the growl. I know there's a couple other weapons that I did not add but but uh, I would say that if the M4 is replaced, I would say replace it with the Growl. Just because the Growl got nerfed, it's still really good. But you guys know, man. You guys probably know uh, more about Warzone than I do. But then for my setups, uh, let me know if you try any of these out and which one you like the best. Um, yeah, man. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. That is the top five best class setups for multiplayer for Season 5. And the top five best class setups or loadouts for Warzone uh, for Season 5 as well. And... Yeah, man, hope you guys are joining season five. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.